Hey, it's Troy, and hopefully just a quick video. Uh, you know, when you're getting into the hobby of fountain pens and you decide you're going to do a lot of research, you do a lot of reading, and I've been on message boards and I've been on uh, Facebook groups and listening to what people have to say about various pens before I ever invest in them and buy them, uh, usually. I mean, I've got my own personal preferences from my own experiences, but, you know, I've heard people um, who have talked about Visconti pens and talked about their quality control issues where they've had to send pens back to Visconti to get them to work on them. So Visconti being an upper end luxury Italian pen maker, you'd think that for the price that you pay for some of their pens that uh, they would have a very good quality control. But from what I've read from a lot of people who are a lot more experienced than I am, uh, that's not been the case for them. Um, I have a Visconti and I don't have that issue. Um, I've got the Visconti uh, this is the Van Gogh Irises edition and I've heard somebody literally say that Visconti priced like a Mont Blanc but writes like a Noodler's Ahab so today in the mail we got a Noodler's Ahab along with that Noodler's Ahab we got a bottle of Konpeki which I've already tried and used so the Roshizuku uh, pilot uh, Roshizuku Konpeki which my son really likes and I kind of like and I've tried it in different pens and actually it looks better in some pens than it does in others so what I did uh, today listening to and having read the criticisms of Visconti uh, and now that I actually own one of each and just to give you a price comparison uh, I paid twenty three dollars for the Noodlers Ahab I did not pay that for uh, anywhere near full retail for this, but literally right now I've seen these retailing 10 times the amount of this. I mean, literally 10 times the amount. So 230 and up I've seen these just yesterday on some distributor websites. So I went ahead and did a writing sample of them both and I used some Rhodia paper and you can see right here, I'm going to put it up, that the Noodlers Ahab Flex with Con Pecky, it did okay, it's got a little bit of line variation on it and right below it I did some Visconti Van Gogh writing and in that I used a Monteverde uh, Caribbean Blue and the little loops that people do because my last name begins that way and I've been signing my uh, name with a capital L uh, for 40 plus years uh, closer to 50 uh, and that's what I do but the Ahab is just a little more scratchy and offers a little more uh, of line variation which is to be expected considering it's supposed to be a flex nib uh, both are solid writing pens of course you know one's two hundred dollars more than the other uh, about full retail the Ahab's uh, comfortable in the hand but it's plastic and has a little more girth to it and it's got one of the, an interesting plunger filler system in case you haven't seen um, that what that looks like I'm going to take off that, and here it's got a plunger, so literally you uh, kind of use it sort of like a syringe, when you would press that down and pull it and suck it in, and you get a good amount of ink in it. So this is the first pen I've had that is that way, and I had to play with it with some water just to learn how to do it, uh, and make sure I got it right before I started to put ink into it. What I did find, however, and I wasn't going to uh, ink it up with the Konpeki that I got today, I was going to pick a blue I hadn't used before in a vial, and so I went to go try that. Yeah, that didn't work out so well. Yeah, I just inked myself. Um, so anyway, it's a pretty pen. I mean, I kind of like the, the blue uh, variations on that. Now the Visconti is definitely sturdier in its construction, uh, and it's you know its price point. You know it at you know what I was thinking about this at the price point of these, considering they're like 230, 240 and up uh, at full retail. You'd think it would be more than just a cartridge converter style pen, but it's not. It's just a plain old ordinary cartridge converter that you put in there. So um, that would be my only beef about this. You'd think it would be a piston filler at that particular price point. But it is sturdier built than the Noodlers Ahab. It's a little more slender, and this is the Van Gogh series, like I said. And also it's a little kind of magnetic. It kind of is a whoop, like that, and it, seal, it snaps together pretty good. Uh, but anyway, I just thought that that was interesting. I just wanted to see whether or not it was true that uh, a Visconti, even though I've only got the one for comparison, so it's not a, a really broad uh, basis of comparison, come the end of this week, however, I'll have more to compare with. That's right.